Hello, it is Topical Tuesday, December 15th, 2020, halfway through the final month of the year. Hopefully, you are going out with a humongous bang to a bang-up year. I was discussing with one of my clients today, you know, for 90 or 95% of people who are not entrepreneurs, it's a rough year, a lot of complaining, and you see it all over TV, what I call business owners as opposed to entrepreneurs, someone who runs a business, wants to keep running that business the same way, manage the business, run the business, sees themselves as self-employed, business owner, I run the business. They're all over TV all the time complaining that the authoritarian, arbitrary mayor, governor, whatever is shutting them down, locking them down. You can't do this, but you can do that, but these can't, picking winners and all that kind of stuff. They keep arguing. It's been 10 months since the great shutdown or nine months, and they just keep arguing over and over for the right to run their business the same way it's always been run. Uh, it comes a time. I mean, that's all well and good. You're, good. you're fighting for your right to run your business the same way it's always been run. Okay, that's good. You're a, you're a good, tough fighter. But there comes a time to realize the writing on the wall that things have changed. The world has changed. And in fact, it's never going back to the way it was. Talked to my client today about uh, what he called the hybrid, the online and the offline working together for, for schools, for, uh, for movies, for concerts, for sporting events, for business meetings, for just working in, in businesses. Uh, a lot of things are being done over computers and in person and some of both. And things that were all in person until nine months ago when the great shutdown hit, the biggest mistake Donald Trump ever made in his life, obviously, and I've been saying that ever since day one of the thing. Uh, it's caused a lot of problems, caused a lot of things to be shut down. Here in uh, Phoenix, Scottsdale, Arizona area, uh, it was about the middle of spring training uh, uh, earlier this year, I was gonna say last year, but it was the, the last spring training here, which is big money, big revenue, uh, big activity, big tourist time. Uh, people come in from all over the cities to see their favorite city play. The hotels are packed, all the rent cars are gone, all the flights are booked, all the restaurants are packed, and all the stadiums are packed, and all the bars afterwards, and all kinds of money and activity and excitement flown in. They just shut it all down and cut it off halfway through and said, go home, you're done, we're over. Uh, there was no, oh, we're just going to you know, play in empty stadiums and play the games on TV. They didn't even think about it. No hybrid at all. Just, we can't do it in person, we're not doing it. But you see, baseball uh, made a change. They recognized, they weren't like a stubborn business owner just wanting to run that business the way it's always been. They recognized, hey, let's do a hybrid. We'll play to a few people in person, or maybe an empty stadium in person. So we'll play in person, but we'll also show it streaming over the internet and on TV and whatever. And that's going on with movies. I, I can't even, I turn on the TV, I can't turn away from seeing an ad they're on all the time for this Wonder Woman, which is making big news because it was supposed to be the big summer blockbuster and this Wonder Woman sequel that's coming out. And then they said, oh, you know, the, the shutdown hit, we'll do it in the fall. And uh, now they finally said, look, we're not waiting until F Anthony Fraudchi or the rest of these ridiculous people that are wrong about everything keep making their arbitrary decisions of what you can and can't do. We're not waiting until the spring, the summer, or next year. I mean, you'll you listen to Bill Gates and other ridiculous people. They're saying all kinds of nonsense, like things aren't going back to normal for another year or two, or blah, 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 you know, idiotic. But they've decided they're releasing Wonder Woman, big blockbuster of the year, in theaters on Christmas Day, and also the same day they'll be released to get on HBO. So people can watch it from home. That's all over the world. You know, that's... That's how boxing events, pay-per-view. Of course, there's people in the arena, but it's also streamed to millions of people. I mean, this last uh, Mike Tyson comeback fight at the age of 98 or whatever he is, uh, you know, thousands of people. I mean, it brought in millions of dollars with the pay-per-view. So what about your business? Are you stubbornly fighting the good fight, insisting on being able to run your business the same way you ran it a year ago, 10 months ago, nine months ago, before the great shutdown? Or are you being more of an entrepreneur? See, entrepreneurs are, are happy with change. We love change. We're always looking for change. Change brings opportunity. Hey, something's changing. Let's figure it out. 
put something new in place and capitalize on it. So the small percentage of people in the world that are entrepreneurs are having a bang up fantastic blast of a time in 2020. We're glad it's not going to end in case you think 2021 magically because the calendar changes, the year is better. Could be a worse year than this year, especially with the, they took a businessman out of uh, running the economy in the U.S. and they put in a corrupt, senile, I mean, it's basically Obama's third term and we already had eight years of a horrendously miserable, tepid, lukewarm, crappy economy for eight years under Obama. Well, welcome, that's coming back. So how good is next year gonna be? If you insist on just stubbornly fighting to do business the way you've always done it in 2021, you're in for another rough year. Think like entrepreneurs do. We're always looking for new opportunities and change and what's happening. We're not only are we open to it and able to adapt and respond to it, we're actually looking for it. A lot of times we just create it. We just say, hey, we're just shutting this down, we're opening this up, and we're expanding here, we're adding this. We're Change opportunity brings growth, brings massive growth, as opposed to incremental growth from uh, running a business. Oh, we, we grow 3%, 5% year over year. Well, entrepreneurs can 10 times, 100 times their business very quickly because... We not only adapt to change, we look for change. So we don't want to run our business the same way it's always been. We said, look, look what's going on. The shutdown hit. What does that mean? What can I do differently? How can I capitalize? How can I turn this into a positive? So it's all good to fight the fight. But there comes a time where it's time to concede and to say, running your business the way it's always been done, you lost. That's not there anymore. That's gone. Start thinking like an entrepreneur, opportunity-minded. Look for change, create change, cause change. Move into new areas, new resources, rearrange them in a new way, and join the world of successful entrepreneurs who will look back at 2020 and say, yeah, it sucked that I couldn't you know, go to games and concerts and couldn't see my family and weddings and funerals and graduations all canceled and all that thing sucked. Personally, no parties, people coming over, couldn't go out to a restaurant without thinking everyone there was robbing a bank, looking like Jesse James wearing a mask or some nonsense. I mean, the whole thing sucks personally, but business-wise, man, a whole lot of new opportunities. We'll look back and go, that's when I switched into doing that. That's when I changed a little and did that. That's when I added that into my business. That's when I gave that up and started this instead and did something new and different and look where I am now. Well, it's not too late. If, if that's you and you are still stubbornly clinging to thinking you're gonna run your business the way it's always been and you've missed out on the last nine months of amazing opportunity, it's not too late. This, uh, this uh, recession, slow down, shut down, lockdown, crappy stuff going on for small business owners getting crapped all over by big government like never before. It's never been more clear. Uh, if you've been following me, you know, for years and years, I've been talking about how big business loves big government and big government loves big business and they both crap all over small business. Well, never more than now where the same stuff sold in a local hardware store, they're shut down. But Home Depot, they're open. And if I want to sell groceries, my little corner grocery, that's shut down. But supermarket, that's open, and on and on and on and on. So record sales and record income for the billionaires and the Walmarts of the world and all that stuff, Amazon, small business owners getting crapped on. Time to read the writing on the wall, concede, it's over. You're not going to win doing things the way you were doing it. Time to move on, do something new. Make 2021 a stupendously fantastic year, in fact, finish out the year 2020 on a high note. That is my hope for you. And that'll do it for Topical Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. I'll be back here tomorrow on World Wide Web Wednesday to share ways of making money specifically online. Thanks for being here today. I'll catch you tomorrow. Over and out. Bye-bye.